Welcome to the Joy of Music. Today we bring you excerpts from a special live concert held at the Calvary Church in Charlotte, North Carolina. We are very fortunate to be here and to be able to play the great new 205 rank Moeller organ. Thank you for joining us for this concert.
I would like now to play some of the very tiny sounds of the organ, and these are the flutes. And we have flutes in this division, and in the left and the right antiphonal divisions. Uh, first of all, we'll hear what we call a flute solo, and that is played on the tiny little four-foot flutes of the organ. Then we have another piece which uses the eight, the two-foots, and the mutation stops. Then finally, we have a piece called Humoresque, which uses the eight-foot flutes of the organ.
Dan Miller, who is organist at the Calvary Church in Charlotte, is a very dear friend of mine and also a great artist. We were able to join him earlier in the day as he talked about the Calvary organ. Today's technology allows the organist to pre-program stops into the memory system of the organ. Rather than having an assistant pull out stops, the organist can use the thumb pistons to change his combinations. Or if the hands are too busy, the organist can use foot pistons. The organist's feet play an important role as well as his hands. Now we've mentioned the foot pistons, but the feet also play notes. The feet also control the volume level of the organ. Put all these elements together along with the work of great composers and we have music. Indeed, the console of the Calvary Church commands an instrument of awesome resources. Electronic and computer technology join together with the craftsmanship of a hand-built pipe organ to create a unique and diverse musical instrument. The Muller Organ Company custom designed and manufactured the organ to suit the many functions and acoustics of the church. Skilled craftsmen produced the 11,499 pipes for the Calvary Church. The completed organ, weighing 173,000 pounds, was completely assembled and tested at the factory in Hagerstown, Maryland, then disassembled and transported to Charlotte, North Carolina. Almost a full year later, the organ was tuned, voiced, and refined to its current splendor. I am pleased and honored to perform in this dedication series. Well, over 200 years ago in Europe, there was a very great organist who made many tours of the continent. And uh, on one of his tours, he went to Dresden, Germany. And there, the townspeople and the royalty heard him play. And they thought he was great, but they thought they knew someone that could outplay him. So they asked the great Louis Marchand, who was this great organist, if he would enter into a competition with this young German organist. And the great Marchand said yes, because no one could outplay him. So he thought. So the day the competition was to take place, the great Marchand went to the door of the church to hear this young German practicing. And what he heard so astonished him and so overwhelmed him that the hour the competition was to take place, the great Marchand was seen fleeing into the woods in his carriage, lest his reputation be destroyed. And the young German organist was Johann Sebastian Bach, who was to become the greatest composer for the organ, and many think the greatest organist of all time. I'd like to play for you first his very famous piece, which is really very romantic in nature. It is called the Arioso.
I would like to end the program tonight with a very great toccata, French toccata, built on the Bible text, Thou art the rock and the gates of hell shall not prevail against thee. This is really a battle that rages between good and evil in this world. I like to say God and evil. And of course, the Lord is always victorious over evil. And uh, there's very fast repeated hands chords in the hands and then against that is a very uh, dominating rhythm that the pedals play and they finally come together at the end.
Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you excerpts from a special live concert played at the Calvary Church in Charlotte, North Carolina. I want to give special thanks to the minister, Dr. Ross Rhodes, and to the organist, Dan Miller, for making it possible for us to bring this program to you. Thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.